In the beginning, there was only the gaping abyss of Ginnungagap. This chaos of perfect silence and darkness lay between the homeland of elemental fire, Muspelheim, the land of Surt and the fire giants, whose origin is actually shrouded in mystery, and the homeland of elemental ice, Niflheim. Frost from Niflheim and flames from Muspelheim crept over the chalice until they finally met in Ginnungaga. The fire melted the ice and the drops formed themselves into a humanoid figure called Ymir, the first of the godlike giants. When Ymir fell asleep, he started to sweat, and from his sweat, two giants were born, a male and a female. Also, his legs paired with each other to create another son called Trajalmir. This was the start of the Jotuns, the ice giants. As the frost continued to melt, a cow, a Dumbla, emerged from it. She nourished Ymir with her milk, and in return, she survived by licking the salty ice blocks. Her legs slowly uncovered from the ice Bura the first of the Aesir tribe of gods. Bura had a son in Bor, who married Besta, the daughter of the giant Boltorn. Bor and Besta had three sons, Vili, Ve, and Odin. Odin and his brothers were worried by the fact that the giants outnumbered the Aesir. The only solution that they saw was to kill Ymir. So they waited until Ymir fell asleep and attacked him. A fierce battle began, with the three brothers victorious and Ymir killed. From his corpse, the brothers created the world. They fashioned the oceans from his blood, the soil from his skin and muscles, vegetation from his hair, clouds from his brain, and the sky from his skull. While Odin and his brothers were creating the world, from the body of Ymir out came the dwarves. Four dwarves, corresponding to the four cardinal points, held Ymir's skull above the earth, while the others made their homes in caves underground in a place called Svartalheim. The dwarves were very skilled blacksmiths. They created many of the weapons used by the gods, like Odin's spear Gangnir and Thor's hammer Mjolnir. One day, Odin and his brothers were walking on a beach where they saw two tree trunks, one from an ash tree and the other from an elm tree. Odin gave them spirit and life, Vili gave them shape, feelings, speech and senses, while they gave them movement, mind and intelligence. And so the first man and woman came to life, Ask and Embla. So, which is the sun and money, which is the moon, from a brother and sister pair. When they first emerged as the cosmos was being created, they didn't know what their powers were or what their role was in the new world. Then the gods met together and created the different parts of the day and year, and the phases of the moon, so that Sol and Mani would know where they fit into the great scheme of things. They ride through the sky on horse-drawn chariots. Well, that's pretty much it. Bye.